Meanwhile, of course, the media is looking for some other scapegoat for the fact that the West is failing. And so they've decided that the scapegoat is, of course, Donald Trump. So Donald Trump was on Buck Sexton's radio show yesterday, and he was talking about Putin's incursion. The headline that the left continued to print is that he called Putin's move genius and savvy. Okay. If you ignore all the context, yeah, sure. What he actually said is that it was a politically genius and savvy move for Putin to do this because the West is not going to stand up to him, and that's sad. So if you ignore the last part of that, then sure, he's rooting for Putin, except for the part where he says that Biden is being weak and it's pathetic and sad. Here is, Putin, here is Donald Trump yesterday. The left, of course, looking for a headline to try and suggest that this is Trump's fault when the simple fact of the matter is, and you don't have to be a historical revisionist to see this, Vladimir Putin invaded during George W. Bush's time in office. He invaded during Barack Obama's time in office. And he invaded during Joe Biden's time in office. There's one president missing from that list. Here was Trump yesterday. I said, this is genius. Putin declares a big portion of the Ukraine, of Ukraine. Putin declares it as independent. Oh, that's wonderful. So Putin is now saying it's independent, a large section of Ukraine. I said, how smart is that? And he's going to go in and be a peacekeeper. That's the strongest peace force. We could use that on our southern border. That's the strongest peace force I've ever seen. They were more army tanks than I've ever seen. They're going to keep peace all right. No, but think of it. Here's a guy who's very savvy. I know him very well, very, very well. By the way, this never would have happened with us had I been in office, not even thinkable. This would never have happened. But here's a guy that says, you know, uh, I'm going to declare a big portion of Ukraine independent. He used the word independent. And we're going to go out and we're going to go in and we're going to help keep peace. You got to say that's pretty savvy. OK, so it never would have happened if I'm president. Then he went on and he suggested that it was, quote unquote, very sad that Biden had allowed this to happen. Naturally, this led to the White House jumping on this and suggesting, oh, well, you know, the real story here is that Trump is pro-Russia. It, it's so tiresome, guys. You're in charge. You're in the White House. Do something that matters. But here's Jen Psaki focusing on, a, well, you know, we would never take advice from someone who praises Putin. Really, wouldn't you? Would you take advice from a former president who, let's say, had pledged Vladimir Putin flexibility and then allowed him? to essentially take over all peacekeeping operations in, say, Syria and also invade Ukraine and take over Crimea? Because that would be Barack Obama, a different former president. Here is Jen Psaki going after Trump, of course. Does the White House any, have any reaction to former President Trump calling Putin's move yesterday genius and smart? Well, as a matter of policy, uh, we try not to take advice uh, from anyone who praises President Putin and his military strategy, which I believe is what happened there, uh, expresses an openness to lifting sanctions about the seizing of territory in Crimea, uh, or at any point in time told leaders of the G7 uh, that Crimea is a part of Russia, regardless if they are a former president. Okay, so, you know, he, the real story here is that Trump was so kind to Russia. Okay, guys, he's invade. I noticed that he is invading Ukraine under your watch, under your watch. Well, I, you know, no analysis of Ukraine and Russia would be complete without the simple fact that Cardi B sounded off on it. Because after all, we're a very serious country filled with very serious people. Here is Cardi B sounding off on Ukraine and Russia. And suffice it to say, she is a Shakespeare for our time. She is just, as we all know from her massive hit, WAP, I did a better cover than, than she did. Then um, what we know that, that her thoughts on, on issues like this are vital. And thank God Cardi B has now sounded off. I'm really not on NATO side. I'm really not in Russian side. I'm actually in the citizen side because at the end of the day, the world is having a crisis right now. There's inflation, not only in America, but everywhere in the world. It's really hard to get um, the economy back up. There is so much shipments and embarkments backed up. China's not really messing with us. So a lot of things are behind. A lot of goods are behind. And this has made it way more complicated. Indeed. Indeed. How's this for a title? Ben Shapiro Show subscriber destroys like button with clicks and logic. I'd watch that. Make it happen, gang.